Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the start of quarter two. I hope we're all doing well. I hope we all enjoyed the last weekend, probably of good weather, or at least warmer weather. Uh, it's going to start getting cold, and we're even going to get snow tomorrow night. Yeesh. Uh, so today is the start of quarter two. What does that mean for us? We're all celebrating. Yay! Woo! What does it mean? Um, one, it means that all of our grades are starting over and everyone gets a clean slate. Uh, we all start with 100% or 0% or whatever you want to look at it as. Uh, but the nice thing is, is that you're all caught up. You know, there's no missing work to think about. You're not behind. Everyone starts over. So it's a clean slate, we're all good to go, ready to start the year strong, or the quarter strong. Uh, and so you notice the blank grade book right here. It's all blank, nothing's in there, we all get to start strong. Most, ideally, of our tech issues are behind us. You know, I know sometimes we have internet issues, I know sometimes, uh, you know, our computers weren't working, but ideally now, we're at least better at knowing how to fix them ourselves or we've already reached out to CPA to help resolve the tech issues. However, if you're still experiencing tech issues, please call Community Peace Academy as soon as possible so then we can get it resolved so then you can have technology that works. Okay. Uh, that was, I know was a struggle for a lot of us in the beginning of the year. Another thing that's nice is we have a butter, better, a butter, a better understanding of the routines for each class. You know what to expect for science. You know how the lesson will be shared. You know how language arts, how that lesson will be shared. You know what's going to happen for all of your classes now. We did a lot of learning those first few weeks. Now we have a better understanding. Now we know. And knowing how to do something or what to do is very important for your individual success. That right there is super critical. But what are we going to do today? Uh, the past couple weeks we've been learning a lot about food webs and food chains and how ecosystems can remain sustainable and healthy. Uh, but today it's a we're going to take some time to make a targeted goal related to science class, okay? For this, you'll probably want, well not want, you'll need a sheet of paper and a writing utensil to go with it. Um, a goal, this is just a definition I came up with, uh, I don't, at least I don't think anyone said it like this before. Uh, a goal is something you hope to accomplish through a series of steps, personal effort, and support, okay? And so I know at CPA we do, we've talked a lot about SMART goals. Um, SMART goals are, are awesome things to do. Uh, I'm just going to use a different method of creating a goal. And as you notice in the picture, we have our ladders, but this, this taller ladder here finally reaches the target, finally reaches the end game. Okay? And so that's what we're going to take a little bit of time today to do. We're going to make our targeted goal for science. Move over. Why aren't you going? <sighs> the screencast-o-matic button is in the way. So, there we go. Uh, so, take this time to just briefly kind of think about the first quarter of science. You can write these down if you'd like. Uh, this part is not required. But just think about a couple things. Think about, one, uh, where were you successful in science? What was challenging? What was challenging about science? I had to grab a pen. Uh, what was hard, you know? How well did you do? Like, what was your overall grade? Maybe. Uh, and are you happy with your results? Take a moment to just think about those things. Think about science. Think about those four posed questions.
What do you hope to accomplish in science quarter two? You know, so you've got a time to think what went well, what didn't, what can we do differently? And so what do you hope to accomplish? This is your goal. What will you accomplish in science quarter two? We'll use positive enforcing language. We will do this, okay? Uh, maybe you could say for your goal, I want to earn an A, maybe a B, maybe a C in science. Choose, choose what you want to uh, go for. Uh, maybe your goal is you want to turn every assignment in on time, meaning you don't want to have any late work throughout the year. Uh, maybe you want to make sure that you attend every live class. Maybe you want to do better at asking for help when you don't know what to do. Okay? Whatever your goal is, write it down on your paper. Highlight it, make it important, make it stand out. Write it big if you have to. But take a moment, write down your goal on the sheet of paper. I'm going to do the same. Uh, my goal that I wrote, I know it's kind of hard to see, uh, my handwriting isn't the neatest, but I said that I will do better at organizing weekly materials for students and teachers. Okay, That is my goal. I will do better at organizing weekly materials for students and teachers. So step two are the steps. How are we going to accomplish our goals? And so the example step, the example goal that I said was I want to earn a B in science for quarter two. Example steps that you could say maybe for wanting to earn this grade is uh, you'll check Google Classroom each day for your learning assignment. Uh, you could say that I will contact Mr. P when I need help on the day it's due. That's kind of two goals in one. Not only are you reaching out for help, but you're also trying to do it the day it's due so then you don't have any late work. Uh, and lastly, I will watch the Ed Puzzle or YouTube videos Mr. P posts to help me understand what to do. Whenever I post a video or an Ed Puzzle video, they are our lesson. They are what we do. They will help you learn. They are not just there for whatever. They are there to help you. Uh, these steps, your step or steps, write them down. How are you going to reach your goal? Take a moment to just think about your steps. All right, and so what I said, um, again, my handwriting's kind of messy and I want to respect everyone's time. Uh, I said I will make time over the weekend to plan uh, the upcoming week's activities. So if I want to do a Google Doc 
like I tried last week of food webs and food chains, uh, I would try to plan it earlier so then I can have all the materials ready. Uh, then my second step was I will then make a to-do list which would go out to you, the student, uh, based on those activities. So if, you know, tomorrow or when I can make this week's to-do list, you'll see for today you had two assignments to do. One was to watch this video and two was to make our goal. And so you'd see that on this week's to-do list. Oh, uh, write those steps down. My steps were written here. You can see those two dashes and those were my steps to write them down. Steps three and four aren't necessarily writing but they're very important to reaching goals. Step three is personal effort. Personal effort is what you give, okay? Because if you want to accomplish something, it all comes down to the choices you make and how you, and what you choose to do, you know? You can remind yourself. You can write it down on the paper. You can create alarms. Maybe you even reward yourself for reaching part of your goals or doing part of those steps. We have to push ourselves, grit and determination. Uh, I know I, I know a lot of us are helping with family. I know a lot of us might not have those responsibilities and we're just kind of playing too many video games. You have to understand what you're responsible for because if you're helping out with family, that, that the, the, that's an amazing thing to do. But if you're sitting around playing video games and not doing schoolwork, that's, come on, you're hurting yourself, that's lazy. We can be better. Follow through. Follow through with your action steps. Follow through with your goal. Try to realize your goal happening. Support is what you get from other people. Uh, you know, and you have to be willing to let people in on this. I am going to support you. And your teachers will support you if you let them know your goal. I will definitely be supporting you in reaching your goal because you will be sharing your goal and your steps with me uh, later. You could have your family and friends support you with your goal if you share your goal with them. So you could, you could talk to your brothers and sisters. You can talk to your cousins. You can talk to your aunts and uncles, mom and dad. Uh, grandparents, anyone who's around, tell them about what it is you hope to accomplish this quarter. If they know what you're trying to do, they'll help you. They'll remind you. They'll be that support to try to help you realize your goal. So today's assignment, uh, really after this video, is you'll type this link into your browser, uh, HTTPS colon slash slash tiny url dot com slash q2 sci goal sci goal okay because when you get to this link it will take you here sci2 goal setting all right you'll enter your first name last name homeroom you'll type in your goal what is it that you want to accomplish maybe it's you uh Maybe you want to, oh, well, I can't type it in uh, because this is my version, but uh, what is your si science goal? Do you uh, hope to get an A, hope to get a B? What is it that you hope to accomplish? Uh, what is at least one step you will take to reach your goal? Okay, so those are those action steps, you know. Are you going to make sure that you check Google Classroom every day? Are you going to make sure you email me or private message me when you're lost? What is it that you are going to do? And then the last question, uh, what do you need from me to be successful in reaching your goal or following your steps? Okay. Uh, what do you need to be successful to reach your goal. Once you're done, you'll hit submit and then you're all set.